Okay. Um, if you want, when, I've used, when I use Mr. T, that thing, no, I pity the fool thing. That, that guy, <laughs> Mr. Tambourine. Um, just feel like clapping or something. Just enjoy yourself. Okay? Uh, this is uh, probably about the fifth or sixth Botanical Beats Festival. I've only managed to come to one of the previous Botanical Beats and it was absolutely fantastic. Lots of bands, lots of music, foods. The tents are all full of people. There's, it's, there's all this stuff down here. Looks amazing. This is a, a unique way in which a botanic garden can raise money. It's fantastic, really great for the community. I think as a local resource, it's invaluable. There's not many places that have a gardens just like this. Thank you, everyone. There's no garden like it. Not, not a garden with 40 acres by the sea, not so natural woodland, wonderful collection of plants, some of which we brought here, others which we, we care for and cultivate. And I think people, as soon as they enter, can see it's a bit special. It's a bit of a gem. Travolta is important because it's, it's a small botanic garden and we need more small botanic gardens, especially in remote communities like this in North Wales. They, they, they are really a, a, a centre point for, for conservation and plant conservation in particular. I've been gone a while, how long have I been? It's very, very important. It's a, a place to learn, a place to be, to teach other people, a place of quietness. Um, a place to celebrate what we have around us and um, just really keep the biodiversity of the planet going and try and improve it. That it's extreme to live in a dream. Well, I think the, the reason that Trevor's important is different to everybody, but to me, I think there's ancient oak woodland, there's, you know, there's wildlife ponds, there's beautiful greenhouse full of kind of rare orchids. Cheers. Botanical Beats, organised by the students, the students for Trevor's Action Group, assisted by 600 other people, including the Friends, of which I am chair. Um, it's a music festival and all sorts of other biodiversity happenings. I don't know, I think it's a wide variety of stuff. Um, but there's music, there's poetry, there's uh, arts and crafts making, you know, there's all around things that you can do, which is great fun really. promoting mammals, uh, mammal conservation in North Wales. We're the Gwynedd Guild of Spinners, Weavers and Dyers. Uh, we're the Countryside Council for Wales. I'm doing some kids' activities. We've got three things going on. I'm making mini gardens with them. And for our activities, we're sort of making, or the children are making things. We're just demonstrating the craft of spinning and then we've got some cardboard for them to paint on and make castles out of. We've got an ant up here. Yes. Um, uh, there's a spider over there. There's a red squirrel over there. That's very good, yeah. It's just about general awareness raising, really, I think, of, of the wildlife around us. And we've got uh, a wood mouse and a bank vole as well. So I can get the bank vole out and show you. If you want. I mean, these creatures are really, really common, but most people have never seen them. This is a nocturnal bat, and uh, he lives in trees normally, flies very high, very straight. Um, you can see him very early on. He eats uh, uh, big moths, mayflies sometimes. So it's about giving people a chance to 
um, get up close, personal, personally experience the wildlife that they share this environment with. And that's actively things that people can do in their own space to encourage creatures like this um, to live alongside us. Everybody I spoke to has had a great day. And it's nice to see so many new faces. Lots of people here, I think, for the first time. But clearly, they've learnt about it from the success of previous years, and uh, it's snowballing, which is wonderful for, for the gardens. And for all the people who put so much hard work into organising it, I'm thrilled for them. It's been a big effort, it's paid off. Pledge to thee, don't abandon me, my dove. There were golden oh, well, I'm really exhausted, so I can tell it's gone really well because I've been running around and uh, making sure everybody's okay, and it's been a fantastic success. As you can see, my hands are sort of suffering slightly from about seven hours of face painting, but it has been really good. I've enjoyed it. would fly around. I played your eyes just for peace of mind and tears I thought of you thinking of me Today's been uh, incredible. Fantastic, we love Botanical Beach. We've been here for three years running and um, we always make sure we've got it on the calendar. Well, I think this is a good concept from entering the botanical gardens. It's always good to have a botanical garden and to have the community coming and sharing in this way. Because it's great for the kids, lots of activities, painting, lots of wildlife as well. Um, and with the music, it's a really good family day out. And as long as you put up with me, how about to leave for you? I'm horribly hooked and inclined to go out of my mind thinking of you. He's a five year old, so we hope it will live to see even another 50 more, you know. <laughs> go out of my mind thinking of you. Cheers. <laughs>